the team, so key, you know what I'm saying? You need to just be 100% honest with me about my music. If you like something, yeah. you know, tell me if you like it. If you don't like it, no. you know, tell me. So Sometimes that way I can know. Something. See, don't put this out here for the people because it's going to make yourself look bad, you know? Somebody, and that's you know? and I think that's the problem with a lot of people right here. They, I hate to say it, but, you know, they, they do the music or whatever, and then they got... A million like, yes men that's on on the squad. Out. It's like, I yo, like yo, that's gonna be hot. That's gonna be hot. Even when it's garbage. Like so you mean you get out here and you spin your wheels? I don't want to do that. I want to always continue to just go, go forward. You know, make make stuff happen. You know, cause a lot of. Well, first of all, this is the cooking edition of what are we gonna call this? Yeah. But anyway, this is the cooking edition of the documentary. I'm your host, Chef Boy RC. And tonight, I'm going to make a very special dish, the mac and cheese. You know? And uh, quite a simple recipe. I got this from my cousin. So uh, sorry for stealing this from you. But I learned how to make it as well. Actually, though, I didn't even steal it from her. I stole it from her mother, which is my aunt. And um, it's, a very, it's a very simple, you know, mac and cheese recipe, but you gotta get the regular crab box, but I'm gonna bake it. Look at the cat, look at the cat. With the Christmas tree. That's why I don't like the cat. That's why I'm always on Twitter talking about I don't like the cat, because he's just doing dumb shit like, look, with the ornament. Well, sorry for the language. Well, back to regular scheduled programming. Um, this is a very simple recipe. I'm your host, Chef Boy RC. So, all you all you basically got to do is, you know, get you a good base. I'm gonna put some water in. Deep pot. Take out the cheese. You don't want, cause see, you don't want the cheese. You don't want to have your cheese falling all in the uh, cheese falling all in the water, messing up the cheese. And uh, let's just get it, get it right. See, a lot of people, a lot of people take the take the macaroni and cheese, and they want to take it out and wait for the water to start boiling before you know before they put it in. That is not how the kids see this. Put the mac and cheese in there. We'll put the mac in there early. You know? And my uh, roommate, she taught me a little trick is, as to put the um, put the oil in there so the so the mac and cheese don't stick to the to the pan. As you can see, I forgot to do that. But it still would have been a good idea if I did. Matter of fact, I might still be able to throw a little something in there though. Like so. You know. You know, just basically. Uh, you boil them to till you get them till you get into the texture of your liking. You know. Huh? Excuse me, sir. You boil, you boil the noodles till you get them to the texture you're liking. Then, uh, then uh, let me, let this is my show, man. This is my show, B. Check it out. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to let you know though. You boil it till you get it to the texture of your liking. The noodles to the texture of your liking. You know, all people like noodles differently. Then what you would want to do is you want to, you want to kind of wash off that waxy substance. You know, wash it off. Just you know. Warm water, cold water, heavy on Man, stop asking all these damn crazy ass questions, man. I don't know. <laughs> just, just sit back and all you gotta do is press record. That's it. All you do. That's all you gotta do. Now look. Now you done threw me all off. <laughs> look, you get it to the to the surface that you're liking. Now, my hands are clean, by the way. These are clean hands. I wash these. All right. Then, so you want to use your pot. You know? I prefer the round joints like this 
you know what I'm saying? Pyrex, but I prefer the round, the round circular bowl joint. I don't even know what that's called, but I just know it's round and circular. Um, then you need some butter, right? That's what you want to do. You take you a stick of butter, like so. Because, and the significance of the butter on the pan is so that you, so that when you, when you pour your noodles in here, it doesn't stick to the pan, you know? You know, get you to a substance where, you know, you can see the butter. It's um, I told you, just to a substance where you can see it. You know, this this is more than rap. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what you ain't understand. This is more than rap. I'm a I can rap. I can cook. I got it all, man. Multi talented. You know? Don't let that pepper get it. Don't let that pepper get to you, boy. Oh. Multi talented, man. Yeah. You know, now we, we got our salt and our pepper in there right now, you know, and what we would like to add now is our sour cream to the mix, you know, just to give it that that different taste that you, you're probably not used to. Let me cut this oven on. Yeah. You want to put the, you want to put the oven on around about 350, but I put it on 375 because I live dangerous, you know. Take, you're gonna get your uh, sour cream, you know. And just, you know, you, you already got it seasoned how you how you like, like so. So you know, you just take your nice sour cream substance. And it, might, it might be gone. You're gonna put your cheese in like so. See, squeeze, squeeze the cheese. Start shaking and move it all around. Booty start shaking and move it all around. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. Shake it, move it all around. And what you, what do you do after that? You got look. You look at it like, bam! I got everything I need. I got the, I got the sour cream. I got the, I got the salt in there. I got the pepper. Uh, I got the. What else? I got the cheese on. Now what? What else you need in your macaroni, especially if you're gonna bake it? A little bit of milk. You know, it's just, this is Harris Teeter brand right here, but you know, I prefer the uh, Mayola. You know, probably comes from the same cow, but you know, I just like, I like, I'm a brand type person, you know what I'm saying? If, if I got the mayo over the cheap thing, I want the mayo. You know, they got the polo and the USPA, I want the polo. And that's another thing, and this is a commercial break right here, ladies and gentlemen. Please stop wearing USBA. It's not polo. This right here is a polo. If you got a horse, if you got a horse on your shirt, then that's that's a real polo. This is US. Hey, look, man, you messing up the commercial. USPA got like three or four cats riding on one horse. You can't be wearing that. Okay, stop. USPA is not polo. If you walk around, you got the big USPA under the horse you already know you know polo and united states polo association i don't know man if it don't put it like this if it don't say ralph lauren you know just don't wear it i don't measure i don't measure that's one thing <laughs> hey it's a great observation there though sir like, that, that's how natural I am with it, though. You see how you see how I distributed it evenly. Yeah, refer to the tape. Refer to the tape. This is uh, what we like to call nummy. If you're from James City and it's good, you don't say it's yummy. It's nummy. It's, it's N U M M Y. Nummy. Better put a little. A little, <laughs> little bit, Be, because, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I put 
where I put uh, some more milk in there. Yeah, because you don't know. You never know if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna like that texture. Cause it's about to get, you know, it's about to get topped up with that with that heat. So with um, mac and cheese, especially when it's in the oven, you don't know the difference between. You would rather put it like this. You would rather have it too soggy than not enough milk in there. Cause if it's already dry, then you can't fix it. But if it's soggy, hey, I need to let it cook a little bit longer, you know? So, I mean, you're now rocking with the best. Don't get it twisted, you know? Don't get it twisted. Put your you know, little bit of foil on it. Let this, kind of, might want to let the sides poke out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Show the abs. Then you just place it in the oven, man, like so. I'm gonna go check up on that. And have probably another 15 minutes, you know. I'm gonna just let that do its thing, let that shit its course. So we're gonna come back and uh, check on that. All right. And then you got your mac and cheese. There you have it. See that cheese over there just bubbling? Yeah. If you don't believe me? Check me out. Nummy. Nummy. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, you know, tune in to Cooking with Seaweed. And I'm your host for today. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other.